Looking for Easter decor that brings wow factor? Sometimes the best way is to do it yourself. So here to show us how to make glam Easter eggs and a gorgeous centerpiece is Monique Taylor Yishu. I'm so happy we're doing this. I am paying close attention because the glam of this all makes me very happy. Well, you already know I like to be non-traditional when it comes to holidays and why not glam up your eggs, right? And yes. Honestly, it's so easy to do. And I went to my local dollar store and I found these beautiful rosettes. Like nice. look how gorgeous these are, right? And they come in different sizes. And mm -hmm. if you see the egg, the far egg on this, uh, on the left there, that, like, look at that. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, right? And I love the fact that these are strips of stickers, right? So they're already evenly spaced for you. Yeah. So all you need to do is go to town and stick them on. So I'm going to let you get creative with your egg. Should we tell them where you got these? Did you mention? Yes. Oh, no, I didn't. So these are craft eggs. You can find them okay. at your local craft store. Not real, everybody. Not, Not real. real. <laughs> you can find them at your dollar store, and they come in various sizes. So depending on your decor and what you want to do with it, yeah. you can pick the size that you want to go with. So you get so. your stickers, your strip of stickers, and it's yes. so easy to replicate um, the one I just showed yes. you. I'm going to do it, yeah, I'm going to do it right. top to bottom. Again, you can go to town with these um, pearls. The pearls, for some reason, can't find them as often, but if you do, these are also pretty awesome. I use them on this egg here, and you just rip them off, and again, you keep on doing it, but what you're doing is you're actually putting them very closely together. Right, so, so you just... have that feeling that the whole thing is beautifully ribbed in pearls. And exactly. I know why you can't find them. We talked about the pearl trend on City Lines Fashion Friday and a couple of Fridays everybody... ago. <laughs> Everyone's into the pearls. Every, pearls so, are... And it goes like in interiors, fashion, decor. Well, so there that's we probably go. why. That's They're just why too the, hot. I was like, ah, so can't these are ones them. that I had on hand. And yeah. then I love the fact that even if you have to resize, you just got to, you know, rip them apart. Oh, and that's then, so smart. And that would, that's what makes it easy to yeah. fit in those little crevices and those little curves, I should say, not crevices of your egg. Beautiful. So yeah. that is the first egg DIY. Yes. Super easy to do. The mm -hmm. next one is this one. So take a look. You're yes. gonna. It's going to look sort of two tone on camera. This is uh, lace, yes. and it makes for a really like shishi poo poo egg. Like, right. I love these. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful egg. I ha I've had this lace at home, that's so nice. and this is great because you can either cut it up, and that's the thing about lace, right? They have their own little rosettes, flowers, whatnot, so you can cut them out. If you want to glue them on, you can in different places. What I did, I just opted to wrap it around, and I just took my glue gun, just dabbed a little glue on top there. Nice. I just like the fact that it's textured. Like right, it feels exactly, so right. Nice in the hand. Right. And this is something you can use every Easter. Exactly. You know, for exactly. a very long time. And I just gave it. A, I led this particular one because I was able to stretch it out. Yeah. So it can actually form to the shape of the egg. Lovely. And then I hold it, and then again dab a little bit more glue. Boom. And then as you go and you're making your egg, you can go ahead. You just give that a snip, and then you just glue to the sides so that you have it. Nice and flush like that, and Beautiful. I did another one around there like so. Okay, and then we have another way that you could step your egg up. So this is going to be enough. another embellishment, and I'm just yes. going to show them what it looks like when you're done. But you've got like a feather here and right. a gorgeous like jewel. Is it a yes. sticker? So, I'm not sure. Listen, I had this necklace. It broke at home, oh. so it was one of those like I don't know, circa like 2010, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, <laughs> when I get we it. had those, and they broke it apart. Yeah. And now I'm using it as embellishment, right? Good so stuff. you take a piece that, you know, works well for it. Uh -huh. You add your glue from your glue gun. I can't tell you how much jewelry I have at home just sitting there. Right. My daughter used to play with it. Exactly. And now it's like, what do you do? Make right. Make a DIY with exactly. it. Exactly. And then you put your feather on, add a little bit more glue there. Like, come on, this is taking like seconds. Yes. To take your egg from Super zero easy. to 60. Like, well, that's that. why I like your DIYs. <laughs> this is good, like Look literally that. done. And you, you want... can get the girls involved, you can get the kids involved. Everyone exactly. can make a few eggs until you have like a beautiful basket of eggs. You can use that as a centerpiece. Exactly, exactly. Or you can do the sort of centerpiece you've done here. Do you have any more yes. egg DIYs or are nope. we good for the no, eggs? No, we are good for the eggs. Well, then so let's we talk about on. this thing of beauty. Yes. So we have dessert at Easter. Why not display it in a creative way, right? Yes. Like you have your cake stand, but come on, let's step it up a notch. 
why not? Less, yeah, absolutely. More is more. So we have our eggs. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. And basically what you do, you can use eggs, you can use chocolates, you can use whatever you would like to use that's, you know, to your theme for Easter. Mm -hmm. But because we're in the glam theme, we're going to glam it up. Okay. So we're going to take our eggs. You can actually start. And you just put it in. Um, I like putting something in the center to kind of help guide when you're putting your things around. Right. So I just use this. I just cut a piece of, of uh, cardstock and wrapped it around in a little circle. Nice. You could use a uh, paper, paper towel, towel roll. roll. Yeah. Exactly. Even if you want to use some tissue paper to stuff yep. it in the middle, you can. So I just have that there. And you just put those in. You can, oh, you know, pretty. put some flowers in there. You know, of course, of course. <laughs> I went straight to the chocolate, but this is what's going right. to make it very appealing to me. And then we me. have our little, of oh, course, hi, again, bunny. we have our bunny in very there. Very cute. Yes, and you just keep on going oh, until this. you have everything in there. Boom. Nice. And I just love the gold accents and the silver accents again. This is really easy. Like, I have a little right. trifle uh, container, and you can do the same thing. Okay, exactly. we're all out of time, but I just want to mention really quickly where the cake is from and the beautiful cupcakes. Yes. Because you're putting that on top of this one. Exactly. Uh, we got these from Cake Strees. Oh, again, beautiful. a wonderful baker. And, yeah, again, it just sets it off, right? Like, come beautiful. on. Once you have that in your dessert table or even in the center of the table after dinner, yeah, yeah. you can enjoy I don't it. care about the meal. I just want that. <laughs> Give me the bunny. Thanks, Mel. Find step-by-step -step instructions for these DIYs up on cityline.tv.